Welcome, Ruben here, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some awesome libraries from developer Sonic Couture. These instruments are available from the Native Instruments site and will run in the free contact player, with all of the useful NKS compatibility included too, integrating seamlessly with Native Instruments hardware and software. Here, I'll be looking at five of the newer instruments from Sonic Couture, Threnody Avant-Garde Strings, the Orchestral Chimes Collection, Celeste, All Saints Choir, and All Saints Organ, and that's where I'll begin. All Saints Church in Tooting, UK, has hosted hundreds of classical recordings over many years, so it was the perfect venue for some very special Sonic Couture recording sessions. They captured a choir and organ in situ with all the authentic ambience of the church. The organ was built over a hundred years ago and is notable for its delicate high registers and deep bass tone. Perfect if you want to recreate the heavenly sound of organ-laden scores such as Hans Zimmer's Interstellar. Twenty-five different organ stops were captured, along with two microphone positions close and far, and a separate slider for introducing authentic noise from the organ bellows. On the right of the interface, the four different departments of stops can be chosen individually by clicking on the interface, or via these red key switches at the top of the keyboard. A side note that you can change the key switches just here. For a full-throated sound, click the All buttons. Or tailor the sound to a specific timbre by choosing different combinations of stops. Here are a few examples. There are also lots of different snapshots that can be loaded via complete control. Or the drop down just here. These are categorized into everyday basic registrations, presets from composer Howard Goodall, and crazy sound design presets, some of which sound nothing like a church organ. If you want to play with different scales and tuning options, click here to open the tuning menu, where you can choose from the many presets. There are also options for applying tone, envelope and filter shaping, plus LFO automation for the departments. Just click into them to edit. As you can see, All Saints Organ is very simple to use for basic operation, but there's a whole world of design under the Effects tab. Use built-in contact processing to change the sound with EQ, stereo width, saturation, and three hot swappable effects at the top here.
Sonic Couture have also captured impulse responses from All Saints Church itself, and these authentic reverbs make up about 50% of the character of the instruments. Of course, you can also bypass these and hear the relatively dry sound too. There are also room, plate, gear and effect spaces as well. Captured in the same church and perfectly complementing the organ, All Saints Choir is a deep sampled 32-piece chamber choir. This is an expressive choir that's perfect for both epic scores and more intimate moments, thanks to a variety of mic and section sizes. Captured in four sections, soprano, alto, tenor and bass, you can mix the sections in any combination just here, with on-off, levels and panning. There are also four different mic positions here. Lots of snapshots can be loaded via the drop down here or choosing incomplete control. Playable modes are polyphonic, legato and polylegato, with the legato note interval being set by this number. You can also specify which sections of the choir have legato transitions applied with these little L buttons. As a bonus feature, you can create bespoke clusters of up to 12 different voices, with adjustable tuning and cluster intensity. There are six different mouth sounds available, activated just here, or via key switch. And by default, the dynamics are brought to life via mod wheel control. Finer adjustment including attack and release times, velocity and pitch bend controls and LFO vibrato just to open this panel. And of course there are all of the contact effects and impulse responses carried over from the All Saints organ. Let's turn to Dark Orchestral Strings and Sonic Couture's experimental Threnody Strings, a library featuring unique multi-sampled performances of a 60-piece orchestra. These are the sorts of sounds you'll need to embellish more vanilla string parts, 
or for adding shocking clusters and microtonal techniques to your thriller and horror scores. You can even venture into avant-garde territory. In all, there are 26 different playable articulations, ranging from more traditional sustains, tremolo and ponticello, to clusters, glissandi and pitch bend playing techniques. You can assign up to four different techniques to these four slots and mix between them with this central XY pad, either by using NKS hardware or assigned MIDI. or by setting a predefined tempo synced pattern with the controls along the bottom of the interface. There are lots of options here for defining XY pad shapes, setting speed and looping. In addition to these modulations, there's also overall dynamic control via the mod wheel. and a choice of three different mic positions, main, spot and ambient. Don't forget the large variety of plug and play presets available via Complete Control. Some of these presets showcase the generative tools that can automatically create complex sequences from simple held notes and chords. This one uses the Weaver, but there are two others. Jammer creates arpeggio chords with predefined presets and scales.
Fraser can play back a series of notes from presets or ones that you record yourself. It's worth experimenting with these generative tools as they can produce some inspiring and surprising effects. There are a number of other pages at the top here concerning amplitude, filter, LFO, tuning and options, and many of these parameters have comprehensive automation options for assigning them to the XY pad. Just like the All Saints Choir, the cluster control can be used to introduce unnerving microtonal shifts. The final effects tab contains the usual comprehensive range of effects to get your strings mix ready. Sonic Couture's Orchestral Chimes collection is one of the most comprehensive libraries of this type that I've ever seen. It's essentially three instruments, crotales, glockenspiel and tubular bells, all tuned metals that you'll find in a symphony orchestra. These are great for layering with other orchestral instruments for a sparkly top end sheen, or as melody carrying instruments in their own right. The sheer number of different dynamic layers in itself is quite astonishing, with 15 to 17 per instrument, bringing a level of authenticity unmatched by most other chime libraries. You also get the option of two different microphone arrays and five different types of beaters rubber, plastic, and brass for the crotales and glockenspiel and felt, rawhide and plastic for the tubular bells. Each of these beaters gives a different timbre, from the sharpness of plastic to the more hollow, softer tone of rubber and rawhide. Have a listen now to the different types of beater and mic positions. Although you might initially think of these instruments as suitable for orchestral scoring, there's far more scope when you start to use the effects, LFOs and generative tools that I've looked at previously. These are all included with orchestral chimes, along with a variety of preset effects patches.
It's worth noting that the playable range has been artificially extended for these instruments. You can see the blue is the original range and the surrounding green notes the extended range. This makes the collection even more useful. Just like the orchestral chimes, Sonic Couture's Celeste has been sampled in exquisite detail. Sampled here is a premium instrument from renowned Celeste maker Schiedmeyer, serviced, tuned and shipped to the Sonic Couture recording studio, especially for this library. The Celeste really is the sound of movie magic, from Harry Potter to Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. with 32 velocity layers and two mic channels captured from both the top and back of the cabinet. These arrays blend together wonderfully. That's the soft and subtle timbre of the Celeste that you might be familiar with. But Sonic Couture have really gone wild with the different parameters and effects, with over 40 different preset variations that make use of many of the different scripted processors within the interface. I want to give a special mention to this options page where you can adjust the velocity curve, making the playback far softer, digging into those low velocity samples, or more harsh and metallic with the upper range of velocities. And you can also set the extended or authentic ranges. Here you can adjust the mechanical noises of key off and pedal. Don't forget the generative tools tab here, turning single key presses into thrilling arpeggios. As you've seen, the dedication of the Sonic Couture team results in instruments that are precise and detailed, allowing you to create completely authentic performances. The exhaustive options to tweak the sounds to your preference means that you'll likely be using these libraries far beyond their intended purposes, making them extraordinarily versatile. Check out more information at soniccouture.com and the Native Instruments site. Thanks for watching.